Obviously, the major element we are interested into is the air component and its management. One of the major talking points is the adoption of electromagnetic catapults. This is often portrayed as skipping a generation because the US, before adopting the EMOS, used steam-activated catapults for more than half a century, I believe. But this is really not the case. Think of it, if you want to start building aircraft today, you don't start building wooden biplanes. You start with a general aviation monoplane made of aluminium and composites. So there was no point in trying an already obsolete technology. These catapults have gone through a long development on the ground and it seems that they went through successful tests on board launching dead weights. We will see. Three of them are installed on the ship, which is one less than any US carrier designed in modern times. This obviously has implications. The sortie's rate is physically limited by the number of catapults. So why this choice? I suspect that the Chinese hit two limits. One is the room available and the other is the power available. We don't know the detailed design of the Chinese catapults, but it is conceivable that they are a bit larger than the American equivalent. Moreover, it is not that you just plug the power cable into the socket and you're good to go. The system for storing energy is quite complex on the American ships and we can't expect the Chinese ones to be much smaller. If anything, the first iteration of a technology is usually the bulkiest. And anyway, the ship is smaller than a Nimitz or a Ford and the three catapults are all of the same size. So, well, it sort of makes sense. Now, before the usual trolls make everyone notice in the comments, yes, I know that the emails are less impacting on the ship because they don't require steam pipes, valves and accumulators from the boilers. So, thank you, okay? Furthermore, the ship doesn't have an excess of engine power available, so it is conceivable that the electric power is also limited and maybe four catapults were just too much. If this is the case, the coming type 004, which is going to be nuclear powered, may well have four catapults.